What's driving markets? Welcome to Market Take. Each week, we'll bring you our insights on the latest market and economic trends impacting investment. I'm your host, Axel Christensen, Chief Investment Strategist for Latin America within the BlackRock Investment Institute. And in this week, I'll be discussing our preference for emerging market assets. There's been a stealth rally in emerging market stocks and bonds this year. We still think emerging market assets have the edge over developed market peers in the first layer of our new playbook, the macroeconomic assessment. In fixed income, rising rates have boosted the appeal of income across emerging markets and developed markets. We've been tactically overweight emerging market local currency debt since March, picking up higher yields for a carry and benefiting from a broadly weaker U.S. dollar this year. The returns from higher emerging market yields remain attractive, but tightening spreads with U.S. Treasuries prompt us to consider switching to emerging market hard currency debt typically issued in U.S. dollars. Rapid rate hikes in developed markets have hit emerging market economies hard in the past. It's the opposite now. Capital inflows and stronger currencies boosting returns in emerging markets' local currency bonds. Emerging market central banks were well ahead of developed markets' peers in hiking, and some hiked more to curb inflation quickly. We see some key central banks closer to gradual rate cuts as inflation follows. The second layer of our new playbook is about getting granular. We've been overweight emerging market stocks since February on a 6 to 12 months tactical horizon. But we go beyond broad emerging market exposure to find the most attractive macro backdrops and valuations under the surface. We get granular going beyond broad emerging market exposures with country preferences in debt. We like Mexico for its quality tilt and Brazil for its exceptional income. The third layer for our playbook, harnessing mega forces, also applies to emerging markets. We see five big structural forces transcending the macroeconomic backdrop. Digital disruption in artificial intelligence, geopolitical fragmentation, the low-carbon transition, aging populations, and the future of finance. We see emerging market equity opportunities supercharged by megaforce. The semiconductor industry is a key driver in the emerging market technology sector that is powering AI. India's rapid population growth stands out from shrinking developed populations as well as its digital payment system. Some Latin American nations could benefit from the low-carbon transition and the rewiring of global supply chain. What matters is what markets have priced. Here's a market case. We still favor emerging market assets overdeveloped market peers due to our new playbook. We see a brighter policy outlook as some emerging markets stand out ready to cut policy rates. We get granular in emerging market debt across countries and in emerging market equities by harnessing megaforce. For details, read our weekly market commentary. Go to blackrock.com forward slash weekly hyphen commentary. Thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Market Tape wherever you get your podcast. This material is intended for information purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, a recommendation, or an offer or solicitation to purchase or sell any securities, funds, or strategies to any person in any jurisdiction in which an offer, solicitation, purchase, or sale would be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction. The opinions expressed are as of date of publication and are subject to change without notice. Reliance upon information in this material is at the sole discretion of the listener. Investing involves risks. BlackRock does and may seek to do business with companies covered in this podcast. As a result, listeners should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of this podcast.